in our previous class we have seen introduction to rnn different types of rnns and we have seen forward propagation in rnn to train neural network we need to calculate loss based on predicted values and true values based on this loss we need to adjust weights of the neural network to adjust weight we will use the gradient descent algorithm gradient descent algorithm will use back propagation to calculate the gradients here we have weights u v and w so we must compute the gradient for our loss function with respect to these parameters u v and w here gradient descent will update weights by using these rules to minimize the cost function here this three gradients will be calculated by using the back propagation let us see how these gradients will be calculated in rnn in rnn same weights are shared across all time steps you can see here in all time steps same weight matrix v is used similarly for w and u also we have loss at each time steps then we will have gradient at each time step so derivative of loss function with respect to v will be summation of all these derivatives means derivative of loss function at time step t minus 1 with respect to v and derivative of lt with respect to v and derivative of lt plus 1 with respect to v means total gradient would be summation of all of them you can see here derivative of loss function with respect to v will be summation of derivatives of all individual losses loss at time step 1 loss at time step 2 loss at time step n so total loss with respect to v can written like this summation from t equal to 1 to capital t derivative of lt with respect to v here t is the total number of time steps similarly for weights w and u also in generic way we can write total losses simply the summation of losses over all time steps is l theta equal to summation from t equal to 1 to capital t lt of theta here theta means vector of parameters u v and w let us see the gradients with respect to each parameter first start with v we know total gradient with respect to v is the summation of losses at each time step with respect to v let us consider at one time step t this v is not directly connected to loss at time step t so we need to use chain rule this loss at time step t depends on y hat t this y hat t depends on ot ot depends on v so gradient at time step t with respect to v will be dou lt by dou y hat t dou y hat t by dou ot dou ot by dou v like this we will calculate for each time step and sum them up all to get total derivative with respect to v similarly like lt we will calculate for all time steps and we will sum them up to calculate this loss with respect to v in this case calculating this gradient is easy because we do not have any recurrence here let us see gradient with respect to w we know total gradient with respect to w is the summation of losses at each time step with respect to w let us consider a time step t again this w is not directly depends on or this loss at time step t we need to use chain rule loss at time step t depends on y hat t y hat t depends on ot ot depends on ht ht depends on this w so gradient with respect to w at time step t can be written like this dou lt by dou y hat t dou y hat t by dou ot dou ot by dou ht dou ht by dou w see here see this term this ht depends on w directly and ht depends on w indirectly through ht minus 1 also you can see it more clearly here this ht depends on w directly ht depends on ht minus 1 this ht minus 1 this one is function in terms of w so this ht minus 1 depends on this w so ht indirectly depends on w through ht minus 1 so this direct dependency can be written like this by using this term and same ht indirectly depends on w through this path 
so that can be written like this do h t by do h t minus 1 do h t minus 1 by do w because this h t minus 1 depends on w so this indirect dependency can be expressed by using these two terms again this do h t minus 1 by do w can be written like this this h t minus 1 directly depends on w so this term will be used for direct dependency this ht minus 1 depends on ht minus 2 ht minus 2 also depends on w so this is indirect dependency so this can be written like this do ht minus 1 by do ht minus 2 ht minus 2 by do w this term derivative of ht minus 1 with respect to w can be substituted with this expression so final derivative of ht with respect to w can be this one just you need to multiply this term with this one then you will get this product again this term will be multiplied with these two terms so final value for dou ht by dou w would be this one if we have one more time step here ht minus 3 then we need to replace this ht minus 2 by tw with another term through direct dependency and indirect dependency it will continue until we reach h0 this h0 was initialized to all zeros let us generalize this expression these two terms can be replaced with this single term based on chain rule and we can turn this first term into partial derivative of ht with respect to ht partial derivative of ht with respect to w since derivative of ht with respect to ht would be 1 then we can arrive at compact form dou ht by dou hr dou hr by dou w where we sum over all values of r less than t so all these terms can be written like this so final derivative of ht with respect to w would be this one so we can plug that dou ht by dou w value here then final loss at time step t with respect to w would be this one taking the gradient of u is similar to doing it for w since they both require taking sequential derivatives of ht vector you can see here so in place of w just we are replacing u here the final gradient would be this one the back propagation algorithm we used here is called as back propagation through time because parameter shared by all time steps for same weight w is shared in time step t time step t minus 1 time step t plus 1 the gradient at each predicted value depends not only on the calculations of the current time step but also on the previous time steps so this back propagation algorithm is called as back propagation through time next we will see vanishing and exploding gradient problem in rnn